Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Alright, let's get back into it. So, we got a quest to do. Enemies Among Us. Oh yeah, we're going to the brothel. Well, hello there. Remember me? You still owe me from what you gave to that urchin. Since you've done so well for yourself. I've done so well because I've carved my way through half of Kirkwall. You really want to cross me? You spurned my offer and lost us some serious coin. I intend to take what you owe with interest. Bring it on. The end to a thin row. God, Sven, he could have helped you though. Come back in the morning. You just let him attack me right in front of you and you did nothing. You didn't help at all. something honey you don't work here do you with the customers you're no prize yourself sweetheart is there <laughs> something you want a couple of Templar recruits went missing they were last seen here you'll have to be more specific we do a lot of business with the Templars We have a lot of missing Templars. If we don't act quickly, we may only find corpses. Now, now, no need to get all dramatic on me. Let me look through the books. Wilmud, Karen... Here we go. Wilmud came in here a lot. You sure he had time to be a Templar? <laughs> the both of them last saw... Iduna, the exotic wonder from the East. That's quite the stage name. It sounds better than the tramp from Darktown. You should hear what some of the others are called. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me? Honey, I could write volumes on the things I know. Unless you want Wilmud's favorite position, I think you have what you need. You didn't hear any of this from me. We clear? I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Uh huh. Sometimes I think you have the right idea. Handcuffs, whipped cream, always be on top. I never used to give two bits what anyone thought of me. Justice once asked me why I didn't do more for other mages. I told him it was too much work, but I couldn't go back after that. Couldn't stop thinking about it. Sometimes I miss being that selfish. Huh? Were you talking? I was still at whipped cream. <laughs> Back again? Sure you're not interested in my many, many services? Ninette's dead. I'm sorry to say that Ninette was killed. Killed? Why would anyone hurt that darling woman? This is horrible. Thank you for letting me know. Please... Please excuse me. Aww.
Hey, we can open this door now. The usual? Mm. You must be the exotic wonder of the East. Do you remember entertaining a Templar named Wilmot a few weeks ago? Or Karen? Wilmot. Wilmot. That doesn't sound familiar. Do your clients like this charade? It must get dreadfully tiresome. Wh uh, wh whatever do you mean? Questions are boring. Why don't we have some real fun? Are you certain we can't postpone this, Hawk? You should listen to your friend. We have to ask her about Karen. What's your problem? You really can be quite a bore. You know that, right? <laughs> as charming and relentless as you are, I'm here to investigate. Answer one of my questions first. Who told you about little old me? Uh. It was Vivica. She showed me her books. That wasn't so hard, was it? So, Vivica sold me out, did she? That drab, pathetic little sewer rat. She will be dealt with. Just do one more thing for me. Draw your blade and bring it gently across your throat. Anders, make her stop. Let go of my friends. How did you? Oh, shit. Spare me, Messer. What foul magic was that? Blood and desire in equal measure. An art I learned from... elsewhere. Blood magic, then? Yes, Monsieur. Please don't kill me. You're going to answer all my questions. And if there's even a hint of magic... Tirani put me here. To send biddable Templar recruits to the Sanctuary. Three Spear Alley in the Undercity. I enchanted Wilmot and Karen weeks ago. But after they left these walls, I know not what came of them. Please, let me live. It's not my fault. It was all Tarane's idea. Tell me about Tarane. She put me up to this. She said we can recreate the ancient Empyrean. That mages can rule again, not serve. She says the Templars cannot hold against us if we stand up and fight. This base of yours. How many other mages are there? Any other defenses? People go in and out all the time. Sometimes a handful, sometimes more. There are traps. Magical traps. There's a hidden switch at the front. It turns them off. That's all I know. Uh... Anders is probably not going to like you go to the Templars. He's probably not going to like that option. Damn it. But I want to say you go to the Templars. Because it's better than being dead. Right? Even though they're probably just going to execute her anyways. But let's get to live a little bit longer. You go to the Templars. The Templars are coming for you. No more of your tricks. We need to go to the sanctuary. Some blood mage bitch needs to pay for this. Yeah, see, Isabella doesn't like it. Uh huh.
I wasn't expecting Isabella to not like it. I was expecting Anders to not like it. Isabella. Why you gotta make it so hard? I'm looking at the friendship and rivalry. So Anders and Isabella are the same. And Aveline likes us. I wish there were gifts that we could give. Market's closed. Come back in the morning. Okay, uh, let's continue on. Dark Town. Enemies among us. We should go carefully. Who knows what this many blood mages may have summoned to defend themselves. I don't like the looks of this. <laughs> Almost triggered a trap. Got a loot, got a loot, got a loot. Can never have enough loot. The veil. that what is this how 
wonderful. More vessels for our experiments. Where is Karen? Perhaps the demons will find one of you suitable. Always the demon thing. Can't you people say no? <laughs> I'm not some hopeless waif that ran crying to a demon. I sought them out and embraced them. Why have you taken the recruits? Demons can inhabit much more than mages and corpses. With assistance, they can control anyone I ask. Any Templar. Any noble. Any well-meaning meddler. You do know I cut a path through your abominations, right? Good, good! The demons like spirit. If a few more Templars fall to the demons, we can seed chaos in their ranks. How many abominations can they discover amongst their own before it drives the Knight Commander crazy? Tell me where Karen is. The experiments need so much fuel, you see. So many living vessels are found wanting. Useless vessels can still feed the compost heap, so it's not a complete waste. Good to know you're barking mad. That makes things easier. In days of old, the Tevinter Imperium spanned the known world. Demons were their allies, held in check by power and knowledge. With a wave of a hand, I could do more than a Templar can achieve in a lifetime. Yet they command us. Absurd. We should be ruling them. We should rule you all. Kill the vessels only if you must. <laughs> Oh, uh, they must. Hold up there. Oh, it's Karen. Is it... Is it over? Karen. Yes. That's my name. Oh, thank the Maker. I thought he had abandoned me. So, when do we find out if this one's got a demon inside? The cage has opened. Thank Andraste. Any chance you can tell if Karen has an extra passenger? Well, there's one sure way. Uh, what, what was that about? If there was a demon in there, it would have defended itself. Looks like he's clear. If there's even the slightest chance you're possessed, the Templars need to know. No, no, I'm me, I swear. Don't tell the Templars. I, I don't know what they do to me. Please, I need to go back. Tell them I'm all right. Tell my sister. I, I must go. When you talk to Sir Cullen, maybe downplay the blood magic angle. We don't need the Templars cracking down even harder. Why does Isabella hate that? There's nothing I could do to change that. That wasn't fair. It's not fair that I'm losing relationship with Isabella, just having her with me. Like, I didn't have any choice. She well, would have hated me no matter what. And that's how we like it. I guess down here we're all equally poor. Okay. I guess finders keepers. 
Finders keepers. Let's go do that. You think the Canary are spying on us? They probably are. I, I would believe that. I'm looking for some cargo. You're in luck. Cargo all around. Take your pick. A laborer with a smart mouth. You hardly ever see those. What do you want? I'm looking for crates sealed by the Olesian Port Authority. I haven't seen any. Sorry. Talk to the Arbor Master. I'll bet he's got information about your cargo. He's in his office. Hey, if you're done wagging your tongue, can we get those sacks off the docks? Right, come in. Watch out by okay. the Look at all the bells. Harper Master. Shipping manifest. I think I lost it. Well, then you can't bring your goods in. Viscount's rules, not mine. You should take credit for those rules. Ugh. Adam, deal with this. I apologize on Liam's behalf. He is a very, very busy man. I'm Adam, the Harbor Master's assistant. I understand you're looking for a Legion cargo. I have seen the crates. I can't remember where. Such a shame. I can't imagine what you mean. The clink of gold coin often jogs my memory. Uh... I'm not paying for this. Then I am deeply sorry I could not be of more assistance. Good day. Liam leaves his office at nightfall. We could sneak in after dark, take a look at his records. All right, let's do that. To night time. This document is an order to redirect cargo to Woodrow's warehouse to the east. It is endorsed with Harbor Master Liam's barely legible signature, along with a note from his assistant, Aiden. Legion Port Authority seal, here, suggest we apply the special rate for this. Dockside redirect. So they're just trying to extort more money because it's a lesion. Okay, no cargo yet. Trap. Huh? For that 
should do it. There we go. Breathe that in if I were you. Looks like Martin's trading in death. Trading in death? What? what is he there? selling weapons or something? I'm just curious, what's in the box? to next. The Hangman? Finders Keepers? Let's go to the Hangman. Like you could hire on to so, this expedition. You married a Templar, huh? What of it? Are they all as dirty as they seem? What? Did he ever ask you to play the naughty mage and the hapless recruit? Maybe the secret desire demon and the upstanding knight? That's disgusting. I hear it's quite popular. <laughs> Guess what I found? Crates filled with enough poison to assassinate every noble in Orlais, and then some. <sighs> I knew I should have told you not to look in the crates. Look, there's nothing shady going on here. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? 
Well, it's his cargo and it's legitimate. Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. Yay, we got points with Isabella. I'm so happy for that. Worth it. What next? Dexterity? Maybe all three of them. Fire's Berserker. Change my party yet? Gather your party. Let's switch it up a bit, I think. Let's bring out Fenris. And who else? Keep Isabella. Uh and Danders. Let's just add Fenris, I guess. Switch it up a bit. There's Reaver. Increases tremendously. Ooh. Moving out. move out to low town since we're at the hanged man Isabella you never talk about the mage's plight what's there to say there's plenty to say and you say enough for the lot of us, don't you think? So you're telling me you have no opinion on the matter? None whatsoever. That can't be true. No, I'm afraid I'm really this shallow. Where are you going, darling? <laughs> <laughs> I think I found something of yours. Don't wave that around. I mean, thank you for this perfectly normal item. Uh-huh. Oh, it's a perfectly normal item. Uh... Horse mage. Wonder, what are my abilities? These don't require anything? Okay. Strange that it doesn't require 
I guess maybe it doesn't say the requirement if I already have the requirement met. That would make sense. I just wanted to see what specialization, what require, what abilities required, what specializations. Your son decided he'd rather be an elf than a Templar prisoner. He joined the Dalish. What? But he is human. They did not even wish me to raise him among them. But they do value magic more than the men of Kirkwall. Perhaps he can have both safety and freedom. As I said, I have little money. But this is a Dalish ring that has been in my family for generations. Please accept it with my thanks. Oh, hello. How is your wife doing? Yay. Still recovering? Uh, here. That. Okay. Moving on. Man, we're just running out of quests to do. I think we're almost ready to do the deep roads. Maybe. Possibly. So all that's left are the quests that are in here. So that must be the symbol for Hawk. That red symbol. I've heard about the circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here? Considering who we're with. I don't think the Templars will be surprised to see another mage here, do you? Hmm. Maybe not. I'll try to look sufficiently meek and oppressed. You're not helping. This seems more <laughs> like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinter. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful magister in Tevinter that is worth any price. <laughs> You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. As easy as it is to resort to a sword. You were created as a living weapon. Should you not be trusted with your freedom? 
My powers are not controlled by a demon. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You can't say every mage is corrupt. All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She ended the tyranny of magic and replaced it with an entirely new one. Considering all that magic has done to my homeland and my race, I weep for your predicament. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinta. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. Mag Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. Treating every mage like a criminal isn't the answer. And not every mage deserves the benefit of the doubt. And I suppose you decide which ones. Freedom is a noble ideal, but I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. It is the duty uh, of the Fenris the did not sword. like that. So not I figured he wouldn't. He's gonna hate us for sure. Yeah, see, we're already in rivalry with him. He's just... Uh, I'm not gonna like this. I, I shouldn't have brought him here. News and some bad news. What? What is it? Good news. Karen is safe. Bad news. Half of your recruits may have been possessed by demons. Sweet blood of Andraste. De demons? Did you say something about the recruits and demons? I didn't want to tell you, Masha. They... they were horrible. Those mages see the rest of us as ants to be crushed. They won't stop until they've destroyed the Chantry and the Templars forever. systematically abused by the Templars for a thousand years. How can you say that after what you've seen? Mages cannot be treated like people. They are not like you and me. Surely that's a little harsh. Yet also true. They are weapons. They have the power to light a city on fire in a fit of pique. I admit that does reduce their bargaining position. But there must be some middle ground. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps mages need better education as to why the Chantry functions as it does. Perhaps they would not go against the will of Andraste herself. I will look into it. For now, Karen, unless it is proven you are free of demons, I must strip you of your commission immediately. No, you can't really think that. Karen's fine. He's safe. He is not to blame. But tell that to the victims if it turns out that our suspicions are correct. Please, sir. I tried to resist. I never took anything they offered. I... I need this position, or my sister can't eat. I've been training for five years. We conducted tests on Karen. He's not possessed. He can stay in the Order. I hesitate to ask what methods you used that you are so certain. Still, you have done much for us by stopping these blood mages. I will heed your request. A wise choice. If he has shown no sign of demonic possession in ten years' time, Karen will become eligible for full knighthood. Thank you, Sarah. Again. But without a full knighthood, Karen's pay is so small. I do not know if I can reward you as you deserve. I will handle that, miss. You have done the Order a great service. We will not forget it.
Yep, Anders. I mean, Fenris hates us even more, but Anders likes us. This is not a good combination of people to have at the circle. Got more shit to sell. Rings. We could use some rings and some belts and whatnot. Right, Fenris? Okay. Did I hear correctly? You are an abomination. Why don't you shout? I don't think everyone heard you. Do you see yourself as harmless, then? An abomination who would never harm anyone? Like ripping someone's heart out of his chest? I did that at the behest of no demon. So we agree that it doesn't take a demon for someone to be a vicious killer. Good. <laughs> we have found neither Hyde nor Herivala at Fainreel. I can only think he has fallen victim to demons or slavers. I found this. It was addressed to you. It seems to be from your daughter. My daughter? Then... You know what she is. How she died. When I traced her to that warehouse, I should have forced her into the circle. My own weakness in the face of her pleas is what destroyed her. It is why I urged Ariani not to give in when Fainriel wished to hide. If only I had been so strong for Olivia. Well, at least you don't have to worry about the Templars finding out anymore. Thank you. She is at peace now. I would not wish to see her name smeared while her ashes are still warm. Yep, more rivalry with Fenris. Alright, I'm just gonna accept that Fenris is gonna hate us. So let's just stick with that and have him hate us completely and utterly. Let's just keep doing what we're doing and have them hate us because love us or hate us it makes no difference we get bonuses either way and what about you you everything on the list i'll get to work immediately and of course here is the reward i promise the first enchanter does not Wish me to sell her back to Sol. He says I am. So now what do I do? I'm out of quests. Let's check our quest log. See what we got. Act of Mercy. According to Varric, a group of mages being transported from Starkhaven hasn't arrived at the gallows. It's currently just a rumor, however, and cannot be followed up on at this time. Damn it. The Deep Birds Expedition. Companion Fenris recruited. See, so yeah, we need to go to Fenris's house. And... Letter. Let's go to Gammon's house and see what letter has arrived. Quick as breath, you get more letters than I do. There's another one on the desk. Act of mercy. Proud Sion of the Sion of the Hawk family. I dare not contact you directly, but we have met before, and I know you to be a good person, to be a person of good character and unusual ability. Indulge me in a meeting outside the city, for I require your aid in a delicate task. As a token of good faith, I have enclosed a modest sum. There will be more waiting if you can help. Please come as soon as you receive this. If you do not, the lives of many innocents will may be on my hands. Sincerely, a friend. 
Okay. Quest completed, act of mercy. So, Fenris, Isabella, and Urs. More dragons. your character. Fenris, let's see your tactics. All right. Default scrapper. Yeah, that, that'll work, I think. Let's see, we want to go that way, so let's go this way. It's a pile of bones up here. the area just yet. So let's see here, what is over here? Thrask? Mistress Hawk, Ariane tells me you sought a better path than the circle for her son, Fainriel. I thought perhaps you would be willing to show mages a kindness once more. Do I know you? I am Sir Thrask of the Templars. I know from the compassion with which you treated Fainriel that you are someone who cares for the fate of apostate mages. What? You can't be nice yourself? You are no Templar. You cannot know what a badge of shame that would be. There are a number of apostates hiding in those caverns. We are not going to kill apostates for you. I was hoping you might speak to the group. Convince them to surrender peacefully before my fellow Templars arrive. Who are these apostates? Where did they come from? These are the mages of the former circle at Starkhaven. It burned to the ground and their Templars sent for us to relocate the survivors. Unfortunately, they escaped on the journey. With their phylacteries burned, it has been nearly impossible to track them. What's a phylactery? When a mage joins the circle, the first enchanter takes a sample of his blood. It is used as a focus to track the mage should he escape. Do the other Templars intend to do worse than recapture the mages? Sir Caras is a knight lieutenant of the Templars, a great crony of Meredith. Should he find apostates hiding from pursuit, Meredith will consider him justified in murdering the lot of them. Who's Meredith? You have clearly not been in Kirkwall long. Meredith is Knight Commander. She has changed the rules for mages in Kirkwall. They are less free than elsewhere. Though I dare say she has created as much dissent as obedience. If you've got this many mages escaping, you Templars aren't too good at your jobs. These mages have shown they attack Templars on sight. You have a better chance than I to convince them they are better off alive in the circle than free and dead. 
Sir Karas hunts them as well. If they have not surrendered by the time he arrives, this will be a bloodbath. All right. Desperate. Mages will always resort to the forbidden if they feel enough need. Please tell me we're not going to force these poor fools back into the circle. No, we're not. I mean, we are, but... It's gotta be another way, right? Can't we just let them escape or something? Alright you guys, well, I'm gonna have to leave this episode here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I've been the lovely Miss Scarlet Fox. Please be sure to like the video, comment all the comments, subscribe to the channel, all that good shit. And I will see you guys on the next video.